I wanted to share with everybody uh, a little bit about this project, where it is right now. This thing has been such a pain. I think it was easier for me in the past building cars and building engines and other stuff than it was building this little thing right here. What I'm gonna do now, uh, this is the first time this thing is ever gonna start, so I wanted to show everybody. I thought this was kind of a milestone and kind of important. I actually spot there. Oh yeah, it smells like gas. All right, let's try this again. I tried to start it the way it's set up right now with the stock head and just get some numbers straight in the computer, but I was losing compression and I realized and remembered that this was the problem right here is this little crack inside the head. So I'm gonna get the TIG welder, fire it up. I'm gonna carefully TIG weld this gap closed Throw it on the machine, machine this flat. Here's how it looks after I uh, machined it. It's a little bit shoddy, but uh, I didn't put much time into this because I'm not really planning on using this head long term. I'm just trying to get this thing started up so I can adjust the EFI system and at least kind of get it running before I put the see-through head on. Now I got this framed up so I don't reveal too much of what's going on over there because I kind of don't want to spoil the episode. But I got the head bolted on. Let me just spin it real quick. Let me get that spark plug wire away. Put my finger here. Let's see if I got compression. Looks like I got compression. I got the spark plug in, spark plug wire connected. Let me give it a couple cranks and see maybe if it'll turn over a little bit. I'm gonna spray a little starter fluid in there, in that turbo. I don't think any of the uh, timing is, is right just yet, you know, and uh, but let's see what happens. Well, got some kickback, that's good. Means that at least I got one fire. Oh, oh. It's cranking, but it doesn't seem like it wants to start in the slightest. I heard a couple pops come out of the exhaust, but that's about it. So I put the high speed camera on it and I can see that it seems to be sparking at bottom dead center instead of top dead center. So I came here to tooth number one angle, degrees before top dead center. I measured originally 115 degrees before top dead center. And what I did here is I added 180 degrees to that number and entered that value. I'm gonna try it again, give it one more crank and hopefully I'll get a few revolutions out of it on its own so I can call it a night and move on with this project and see what it does. If it does start, it's only gonna run a little bit because uh, it's just gonna be running off of whatever starter fluid is in there. I have it cropped out because I really don't wanna reveal everything that's built over there. Some people don't like spoilers, so don't thumbs down this video just because I'm not showing you the whole setup. Let's try it out, see what happens. Oh. Oh, oh. Sounds like it's firing a little bit. I definitely still think the timing is way off because originally I measured from, I would show you right now, from tooth number one, which is down here, to the sensor, 115 degrees while the engine's at top dead center. That should have done it. I'm not really sure why I had to add 180 degrees there or why that's off. Maybe, I don't know, maybe something else is wrong in the uh, settings for the engine management system, but I'm gonna just see if I could at least get it to fire up here. Oh, 
I'm getting some popping out of the turbo, so something definitely is not right with the timing. Getting some kickback, so, I mean, there's some fire going on in that cylinder. It's just not timed right. I'm gonna open up my throttle a little bit here, which I really don't wanna do, but got some more air in there. Oh, oh, oh. It definitely wants to start. I mean, that sounds exciting. And the temperature of the engine went up to about, uh, you know, 85, 90 degrees. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I definitely have to uh, figure out what's going on with this timing tomorrow and get this episode finished. And I'm getting some popping out of the turbo. So that's telling me right away the timing's off. So I'm going to call it a night, wrap this up. Uh, I'll give you an update later on. But this was the first attempt to start it. And uh, I figured that was an important milestone. I wanted to share it with everybody. So, yeah, stay tuned.